Hello YouTube. So here I have my Samsung Galaxy S i9000 phone. Um, it's uh, got a custom custom ROM on it. This has a Darkies ROM on it. It's rooted. You can see it's uh, there's there's super user. It's got a, a Voodoo kernel on it. Um, it, it's really set up nicely. Uh, this phone is uh, really, really fun to use in this current state. But let's say I wanted to send it in for warranty or return it or for whatever reason um, get it back to its stock um, config. Like right now we have Darkies ROM which is based on uh, JPY and it's a 2.2.1 Froyo firmware so this phone if you bought a brand new one it would come with JL2 uh, in Canada it would be a Bell mobility phone and it would come with JL2 so in this video I'm gonna show you how we can get this thing back to stock condition so first I'm just gonna shut the phone off Actually, I'm going to go straight into download mode because I could do that. There we go. We're in download mode. Now, I have gone ahead and gotten the three things I need. So I'm going to use Odin 1.7. So I already got Odin 1.7. And I also got the 512 PIT file that I'm going to use. I'm going to first flash JPU. So I've gone ahead and gotten JPU. JPU ha uh, the reason I'm going to flash JPU first is because it's a full base ROM. It's got a separate uh, CSC file, separate PDA file, and separate modem file. So I'm going to first flash that with partition. And then after that, on top of that, I will be flashing JL2 without partition. So let's open Odin. Okay, Odin is open, so we're going to plug in our phone. And there we can see the yellow com. Uh, okay, so first we're going to full flash JPU. So let's pick the files. Let's pick our PIT file. Five twelve PIT. Let's pick our PDA file from JPU. Let's pick our modem. And let's pick our CSC. Okay, let's check repartition, and that should be it. We're ready to press start. So here we go. Okay, so it'll probably take about a minute or two for this uh, flash to happen, so I'll let that uh, uh, flash proceed and then we'll continue. Okay, it looks like we're near the tail end of our uh, flash. There, the phone is rebooting now. You can see it's rebooting with a GTI 9000 logo instead of a 9000M logo. Uh, that's because the JPU firmware we just flashed is not a Canadian firmware. Okay, we have our first uh, boot up of JPU.
so now we have stock JPU 2.2.1. Now I'm going to go back and flash JL2 via Odin. One thing you'll note is if you were to look in the phone's directory, you can still see evidence of what this phone once was because you can see a voodoo folder. Uh, you can see BusyBox, which is a sign of root. You can see this unlock folder, um, darky folder, darky wallpaper. These are all folders. You can see this resurrection.zip file. These are all folders you'd, uh, this is all evidence you'd want to get rid of. So when we do a full wipe, uh, we're also going to reformat the, the internal SD card. Okay, let's pull the plug. And shut the phone off. into download mode let's open up Odin again and now we're going to select our JL2 folder so we're not we're not going to do a full flash now we're not going to choose a partition file we'll just choose the one file PDA so this is from JL2, from the JL2 folder. Okay, so that's all we're doing. Let's plug the phone in again. Okay, you can see the yellow com sign there. Phone has been added and is in download mode. We've picked the JL2 file so let's start the flash. Okay now it's uh, rebooting. You can see it's now an i9000M. We have officially made our re-Canadianized our phone. Now it's got JL2 in it, and it's back to full factory stock form. How it is shipping out of the box in Canada today. Now we're back to stock JL2. If we look in the about phone, 2.2 JL2, model number GTI9000M, completely stock. Phone's not rooted anymore. Everything's right back to how it is brand new. Let's go into my files. There's still some evidence there we want to get rid of. So we're going to have to format the internal and external SD cards. So, uh, settings, SD card and phone storage internal SD card. Let's format. We formatted the internal SD card. Now if we go into my files, yep, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, so that's good. Uh, what else do we need to do? Okay, so doing this is going to install all the the Bell apps that they ship with the phone. BMC's Bell Mobility. Okay, so it's rebooting, and now when it comes back up, it'll have 
all the bell applications that you actually don't ever want on your phone if you have the choice. Here's Bell Remote PVR. Hmm. That's it. Oh, there are TV and radio. Tunes and apps. <clears throat> there's sh shortcuts are back. Okay, we're done. Thank you for watching.